welcome back to ride with purpose appreciate you guys coming back once again and uh supporting the channel if you guys haven't already please hit that subscribe button like i said before it helps us out a ton and it's absolutely free for you um today is a little bit different of a day for me i'm doing my first ever interview style segment on the channel um we are heading over to grand traverse industries and we're going to meet with them and we're going to talk about their upcoming ride this august their poker run their first annual poker run and their first motorcycle event ever and we're going to talk about that we're going to talk about a little bit about what they do and what they do here in our communities and how they serve our adults with disabilities and i'm actually pretty pumped about it so um got the bike loaded up i'm actually here at the job site I had to take care of some last minute things um, but we're gonna go take care of that then this afternoon if the weather holds out it looks like we might get some rain here soon but we are heading over to what is called open ramp we're gonna meet at the american legion and we are going to escort the uh, blue angels who are here in town this week for the national cherry festival um, we're going to escort them from the the legion hall to the uh, coast guard air station here in traverse city and uh, that should be quite the experience. We get to go on where the uh, jets are and where they have the helicopters for the Coast Guard and, and get to meet some of the people. So um, that should be pretty cool. That was a, a pretty neat uh, invite I got and I'm, uh, I'm excited to do it. So, all right, we'll see you guys in a few. All right, so we are here at GTI's Grand Traverse Industries and uh, look at that. We're gonna go uh, take a look inside and see what these guys have to offer us. For me, break, break, for me, break the body for me, what, what? So we're out here on the, uh, I call it the factory floor, but this is where they do a lot of the manufacturing type stuff. Um, they make boxes. They actually are over here right now making trash bags um, that they use for like uh, adopt the highway type stuff. So it's a really neat thing. Um, we can't really show you guys a whole lot here because of um, client confidentiality. Um, these, these are people here that come here to work and we just can't really show their faces or nothing like that without having permission. So. Um, it's going to be short and brief through here, but we are going to show you some of the beautiful artwork they did make. That's kind of cool. So I want to have them come to my garage and do some graffiti for me. Well, that's pretty cool. So they make trash bags here and they ship them out like all over the country um, to other uh, other places that, that use the uh, those type of trash bags. Again, they're mainly used for uh, leaf pickup and adopt the highway type things, but it's pretty neat. And there's all sorts of other things going on in there. Unfortunately, we just cannot show you and I don't feel comfortable um, doing that. So just trust me, it's a really cool place. We're gonna put on the uh, website down below. Then we're gonna go inside real quick and we're gonna talk to a few of the team members and the staff so bear with us all right so welcome back to ride with purpose we are here today with miss renee and um we've been fortunate enough to uh have the opportunity to sit down and talk to her a little bit and uh we're both a little nervous this is our first time doing this uh um, together so real quick renee i just want to um, introduce yourself real fast my name's renee perfect and how long have you been uh coming here to gti i've been here for 12 years 12 years that's awesome. So what, what kind of what kind of things do you do here? Uh, I do Shandy Creek as a housekeeper. Um, I work janitorial, cleaning the buildings and okay. stuff. Um, ACT, uh, Antrim, uh, what that stands for is Antrim County Transit Bus. Okay, so you're over and there in the Benzie County area in Antrim Counties? Andrew, I'm in the wrong spot, Bel aren't I? Bel Air. Uh, other Bel Air, that's right. See, I don't know much about my own state. So, but you get to go to Shanty Creek and do all that kind of, that's a really beautiful place. Yeah. yeah. 
I like it. Yeah, I think it's really cool. Um, what's your favorite thing about GTI? Like, what's the best part about coming to work here every day and the family you've gotten to, to get to know? The staff. The staff? Yeah. Yeah, do you have, like, a favorite person? You don't have to say their name. <laughs> I like all the staff. You like them all? That's great. Yeah. That's, that's, that's a great testament to what they're doing here. Yeah. So everyone, like, treats everyone kind and they, you know, that's Absolutely. beautiful. Absolutely. Yeah. I understand it was your birthday was, was recently, right? You got a gift? From one of the staff, which was really cool. You got a little yeah. purse. Yeah, I got a purse from Terry, my program manager. That's awesome. That's awesome. Well, that's great. Well, I do appreciate you coming on and talking with us a little bit. Anything else you'd like to add about what we're what we're talking about today? Uh, just a shout out to Becky. Miss Becky. Yep, she's my, she's the boss over at um, she at uh, GTI in Mancelona. Oh, okay. Very cool. So, yeah, so um, what you guys might not know is that there's two locations, correct? Mm -hmm. So we have one here in uh, Traverse City where we're located now. This is like their, their headquarters, and they have a smaller outfit in Mancelona, which is just a little bit north of us here, um, northeast. So um, they really covered much of the uh, much of the area. And at one point, they had many other little satellite throughout the, the region, but they kind of combined them into two. So, well, great, Rita. It was really great to meet you. I appreciate you coming on and talking with us a little bit. Yeah. Awesome. You. Perfect. My name is Terry Seaslick, and I've worked for GTI for a year and a half. I came from a AFC home before that. I worked there for eight years, so I've done this for a while. Okay, AFC being like adult foster care? Uh, correct. Oh, very cool. Yeah. Nice. That's locally here in town? Yes. Perfect, perfect. Yes. So you've been here a year and a half, you said? I have been here a year and a half. Um, how do you support your team members in the, with the work activities? Well, we have um, staff that actually, because we do tar guards a lot on our side, mm -hmm. which are the cigarette butt filters, and we have staff that will go in there and weigh out the parts and stuff for our clients and stuff, and then they go in there and they I think they put them in bags of like 100, and they then our staff actually has to check and stuff, but our staff actually sets it up weighs them out, make sure everything is done correctly, and, mm -hmm. and then ships so out that our there. guys can earn a paycheck. Right, yes. right. So what they do here, they do a, a numerous uh, different businesses come here to GTI to, for support, basically. So their workers here do things like the tar guards, and um, they do like these little electrical components. They make trash bags, all sorts of really cool stuff. Um, that's actually the first thing I seen when I came here a few months ago. I met Austin, who's kind of the local celebrity around here. Apparently, and he was making some uh, some of the, t the tar guards, and then he went on his whole spiel. I mean, the guy is uh, on top of things when it comes to the ins and outs of GTI. <laughs> so that was really neat. Um, what's your favorite part about working with your team members here? I have several different favorite parts. I mean, I like working with the clients. I like getting to know them. I like taking them out in the community. I like the dance part that we have. We do cooking. We do taste testing. We do. We take them outside. Right. We just several different things. So really, it's not like we talked about this before off camera. It's not really like a job when you come here. You know, that's one thing I've noticed with all the workers that I've, I've met and the staff. Um, no one comes here like for the paycheck. I'll call it. You know, it really seems like this is really a part of what Some you guys are. Some of them are. just enjoy the activities that we have too. Some of them are not interested in the paycheck. Sure. They just want to be in our activity groups, and that's okay. Right, right. I that's like that. Okay. I mean, I was even talking about just the staff that's employed by GTI themselves that are helping out the team members and things like that. It's just an amazing group of people that you guys have here. We have awesome staff. Yeah, that's it's great. it's really cool to see that the passion behind what you guys do and and, and how you get into it and. Um, that's something I'm all about. I think it's, I think it's really heartwarming to come into something like this, and knowing these people are getting, you know, taken care of. So, is there anything else you'd like to add? I think that's about it. Awesome. <laughs> all right. What makes GTI special? Just the fact that our people that wouldn't have a place to go and do activities that we do actually has a place to come and do things and be human and can actually do things that they wouldn't normally be able to do in just a home setting or just an AFC setting or just that we can actually get them to do a lot of things. It's amazing to see what some of them can do too. I mean, it's amazing how advanced that some of them really are if, once they get used to what we're doing. And right. I mean, some of the dance moves and stuff that some of them are doing now and every, it's amazing. We have some of them doing line dancing. We have, I mean, Rochelle has worked a lot with some of our clients and they can line dance. It's 
It's about, like we said before, it's about building confidence and That's growth right. and getting their full potential yep. instead of just, you know, unfortunately this group of people oftentimes gets completely forgotten about and, yep. and left for the wayside. And it's unfortunate. That's why, mm-hmm. you know, these beautiful people like this and GTI and, and, and what it's all amazing. about. I mean, they're amazing. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. Well, again, thank you so much for taking a few minutes out of your busy day to come in and deal with us here thank at Right on Purpose. For coming. Yeah. Yeah. It's been great. Yeah. Perfect. All right, man. So, what's your name? Uh, my name is Josh Karen. Or you call me Josh. Joshua Joseph, either way. Okay. Uh, I've worked here. I've worked at GTI about two and a half years now. It's been okay. my third year working here. Gotcha. I, I really enjoy it. It's the, the, folk, the people that I come here with and the people that I've made friends with and the great staff that work here too. And it's just phenomenal. And so I never knew GTI existed when I was working for someone else. Right. So I thought I was just be like the only one that was out outcast or out, like sold separately, not treated as well as I was, what it should be treated. Okay. So since my mom showed me where GTI was and introduced me to it, I kind of started to think about more of like this is kind of the place where I kind of belong actually you know, where people I can be understood and also be treated as individually right right I like that that's amazing um that's one thing to really hit on too like we, we talked about off yeah. camera again is just you know having people that are in need of this kind of service like a, a place of, of belonging purpose and that's yeah. what I feel I've been with the GTI now for 45 minutes walking through and it's uh I mean it's just an amazing place so how long have you been attending so you've been here with GTI for two and a half two years. and a half years and you've been so you're working your way up through different levels of, of yeah. things so today he actually took us on an awesome tour off camera which he did an amazing job at um Thank what's you. your favorite part about being here at GTI making a lot of new friends yeah just because when I first came here, I was a little bit shy, kind of awkward a little bit. I didn't know how to fit in at first, but then once I, I made a couple friends and then I started developing and maturing a lot more and wasn't being more of a child around here. And so I grew up and actually my supervisor actually noticed that I matured a lot more. Mm-hmm. And that's pretty much good because he knows that I understood some things. So now I understand the rules, I can follow the rules I might joke around here and there, but it's not like too bad. Right, right. Take we it all too do. far, but I, I like to make people laugh. So I like put smiles on people's face. So I like to make myself like a fool and make the other one out <laughs> laugh at me. So hey, same here. So it's got you know, that's great though. Like you have yeah. a great personality. I and do. Like I said, when you're uh, going on a tour, you're very um, you spoke very well. You talked about everything with confidence, and that's oh, yeah. that's a cool thing here. Like just a confidence builder that I see coming from people is is just, to me, that's pretty special. And I'm not very educated in your guys' world and what's oh, going on, fine. but learning from it today, I mean, I've learned so much just in the last, you know, talking with Miss Cody yeah. um, back and forth. And I, I was here in February or March and did a quick tour. It was absolutely blown away by just what this was. Yeah, it, we, it has come along so well. So it, we used to start out small because we, we had two separate locations. Or TF1 was just down the road from us, so we could, and then we, TF2 was here in the old building, mm-hmm. and it was, the way it was back then was different. We didn't have two buildings collided. We were, one building was down the road, and one building was here, and the way we would pick, get picked up, our parents would actually line up where the dock, the loading dock is for a truck to back up to unload stuff. Right. Our parents would be, or the cars would be lined up there, or the buses would be lined up there, and that's how we would leave work and, and come into work. Gotcha. So it, it has changed phenomenally. That's, that's great. I think it's for the best anyways, because, well... Well, it seems to be like a smooth operating machine, at least oh, yeah. what I can see. So um, anything else you'd like to add? No, not really. About GTI, anything from the heart or anything else? That's, that's I, I just, it's a great place to work. First, Great first job to be working here. Awesome. Awesome. Well, great, man. Good job. Thank you. Yeah, we're good. Yeah. Hi. So uh, yeah, welcome excellent. back again. So we got a new person here. Will you introduce yourself? My name is Whitney. Whitney. So um, we're going to talk real quick just about a few of the other things that um, I kept forgetting to ask. So first off, how long have you been working here at GTI? 
Um, I will be going into my third year. Three years. Mm -hmm. That's great. Um, so what, how do you support your team members um, with like their work activities and, and what they do here at GTI? Um, mostly, I think the biggest thing of what we do, or in, me personally and all of my coworkers, is that we try our best to try every person on every job that we get. We have different yeah. opportunities. Some are a little bit more difficult than others, but we always make sure to try somebody, sit down with them, find a process or a jig or a a written something that works for them mm -hmm. you know and we try every possible way that we can to make a job work for somebody and so they have more opportunities to do things and i think that when you see somebody kind of struggle with it at first but you find the way that it like it went once it clicks with them right, right and then they just start able to do it and very proud of themselves and so i think that's one of my favorite things right so you work that. on like the manufacturing type end of what gti does like mostly on, yes on the floor and that's really cool too to see like you know i call it with my guys in the construction field like you know you watch the light bulb turn on with yeah. them and all of a sudden they just excel at what they're doing yeah you know so that's 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 really special to do uh what's your favorite part about working with the team members here Oh, probably right off of what I was just saying, whether it be working on the work floor or in activities, it's the smiles and their and their pride when they mm -hmm. um when they do work so hard and they get their paycheck or they finally accomplish making sure that they're able to do that job, um, just how happy they get and right. how like how they feel so good about themselves. Right. Um, I think that's my absolute favorite part. That's awesome. Yeah. You have a great energy, you know, yeah. so it comes off really, really well. Um, anything else you'd like to add about what, what we do here, like uh, with GTI or, or um, like what's, you know, any passions of yours that relate into what you're doing with working with, uh, with your team members? Um, I mean, one that kind of plays in a little bit is I love music. Okay. I love music so much and I love to find what music each <clears throat> person really likes and what makes them tick like today you know i was like looking at my crowd that i had we kind of had you know a little bit of the older bunch today and i'm like <laughs> let's do some motown oldies right because right. it's like some good feel good a little soulful but good classics that everybody knows and you get and that kind of helps too not only with having a good time if we're on an outing or in activity but even with working it it helps i mean for anybody i think for right. me for them um, it helps motivate you to nice. to want to work and have a good time working. And I like to find, I like finding what what makes people tick outside of work too, and it helps helps to motivate them. Yeah, it was definitely a, like an awesome place to be. Mm -hmm. It was so much fun. I've, again, I've been here twice already, and it's every time I come in here, everyone's laughing and having a good time or dancing. Yeah, I'm like, oh, I wish my work would do this. You know, yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> it'd be a little bit more fun. But I do appreciate you coming in mm -hmm. and talking with us and. Uh, we look forward to seeing you guys at the ride. Well, thank you. Awesome. Thank you. So thank you. Yes. Okay, so we are here again. We have another guest. Um, I'll let you introduce yourself, and what do you do here? Uh, my name is Cindy Evans. I'm the executive director here for Grand Travers Industries. Awesome. Awesome. So uh, how long have you been involved with Grand Travers Industries? I have worked here for 23 years. Jeez. Yeah. That's a long time. It is a long time. <laughs> That's great. So did you start out like being director? Did you work your way up through the... I was actually an intern. Okay. Um, I started out in the lowest position. I've worked my way up all these years and um, fell in love with the mission. Uh, wasn't where I was looking. Uh, I had a, a completely different degree, right. a different plan, and um, fell in love with the people and didn't leave. That's and awesome. So here I am. <laughs> That's the great thing about like doing this type of stuff. Like, you know, starting out with, you know, you came here as an intern just to get through what you had to do, and then ended up falling in love with it. And 23 years later, you're. Yeah, you're a big part of uh, running the ship and 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 making the waves of what needs to happen, which is really cool. It's it's a real blessing, and um, the staff that work here are some of the best people. Um, I've noticed, and <laughs> I've noticed. they have the greatest hearts, and um, you know they they do this work and they they sacrifice to do this work. To be honest with you, right, and um, just. I couldn't imagine working without any other people. I just can't. So, That's awesome. Yeah. So we have a ride coming up. Um, GTI has a ride coming up August 24th, right? It's a poker run. It's their first ever motorcycle um, event here, which is pretty exciting. Um, my good friend, Miss Cody, who's off camera now, but um, she was uh, talking about this like been almost a year now. Mm -hmm. we, we mentioned it and I had a million things going on and um, 
we got involved. Like we're going to be help supporting it uh, on a, as a uh, little bit of a mentorship program, I guess, with us. Because I really want this to kind of be something that you guys take on fully um, with us just kind of being there to help support it and do things. Because what you guys do in the community is is huge. Mm -hmm. And um, I just, I, I'm honored to be even be able to do this with you guys. I mean, walking through this facility is, is absolutely insane. I wish that we could show you guys more, but we just can't due to the, uh, the legal end of things. But it's a beautiful facility. Um, there's always something going on. I've been here twice now. There's always dancing and singing. And I haven't seen a sad person yet, which is... <laughs> We're about smiles, right? Absolutely. And so, you know, part of, you know, we always tell staff, um, if people have smiled and laughed today, then we had a successful day. Exactly. That's what it's all about. Exactly. Yeah. So, uh, again, we got the ride coming up. So can we talk about the impact of that ride, like, in the in the community? Well, you know, we're really looking forward to being able to share what we do in our mission with a whole different group, a diverse group mm -hmm. of individuals. And so, uh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> we're really excited. And we, we know, um, you know, uh, that your group has a big heart. And so it's, it fits with what we do. Perfect. And uh, we're, we're really believing um, people are going to come out. They're going to enjoy their time. They're going to meet some of our our own team members and uh see what happens here even right and uh we look forward to meeting some new individuals so yeah yeah i think Absolutely. it's gonna be a, a, like you said you know being diverse and then showing these people that there's a whole nother group like we talked about that actually cares about what they're doing they want to see them be successful um so at that ride you know we're gonna have a, a poker run which we made a, a great route for um there's gonna be a bit of a carnival we got food coming in um, we're working on some live music, but either way, there'll be music here, one way or another. I heard we had a dunk tank. We do have a dunk so tank. So who's going in that? Hmm. Maybe the boss. Maybe you. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so that'll be great. Is uh, what else? Anything else you'd like to touch on, real quick, about the uh, about what you guys do and like the community impact and. Well, to just tell you, this is our 50-year anniversary um, of serving this community and this population. And so we really look forward to another 50 years, um, but we really want people to get to know us right. and get to see and um, allow the folks that we serve, our team members, to be a part of this community right. in all aspects. Yeah. And so, and to have those experiences and to meet new people and different groups of people. So, yeah, we look really forward to this. That's awesome. Absolutely. Yeah, like I said, I can't wait for it. Like being a part of uh, just walking through the, the hallways here and, and getting to know some of your staff and um, for me getting to know a lot of the team members. Um, I met Ryan last time and he was all decked out in his Lions gear and I thought it was cool. He only met me for like 30 seconds and he walked up to me like, you're still a big guy. Yeah, yeah, he totally yeah. remembered who I was and everything else about it and gave me his card. You'll be a celebrity he's just from a, now on. I mean, oh, he's yeah. just a great guy. Yeah. So. Yeah. Um, this is a, a wonderful program. Again, I, I've been here for a long time. I've heard of GTI, never quite knew what it was. Again, I don't have anyone in, the, in, in this realm that, that, that would use the facilities. And so when you don't think about something like that, you don't have that impact, it's easy not to think about this. And then uh, I'm so blessed to be able to get to know this, you know, and get to know you guys and what it's about. Because this is, again, this is not in my wheelhouse. Yeah. So, yeah, we've been serving um, individuals with intellectual and developmental disabilities, um, like I said, for 50 years. Um, so if you're not living in that, you really don't have a clue sometimes that this is here. Right. 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 And so um, but they all of those team members that we serve, all of those individuals are participating members of this community mm -hmm. and um, really great people that we think everybody should get to know because there's value there and right. um, they have stuff to give just as much we're not always looking for everybody to give to us we want to give too right, right. and so we want to share these wonderful people <laughs> who are just really amazing yeah, right and absolutely. yeah absolutely so. well, that's great like again you know I, I have a saying that everyone deserves a shot at the table absolutely and no matter what it is and no matter what the past or what the uh um, any any other issues that might be going on, they deserve to have that shot at least, and that's what you guys are doing right now. Um, seeing the, seeing what they're out there when they're working. I mean, they're having a ball. <laughs> you know, I got to see how trash bags were made today, which is 
you don't even think of. I use trash bags every single day. Yeah. And watching you know, those those gentlemen there doing their job and taking pride in it and building the boxes and all the stuff was, was it just kind of filled me up, yeah. you know. So I appreciate you guys letting me even do this because this is a this is more for me, I think, than as anything. You know, I got to see a lot of uh, what's going on. It's really, you know, educating me on, on what we're doing. I hope it does, you know, the audience that we get. Um, you know, this is very motorcycle related because we are about a ride, which we'll talk more about later on. But um, we wanted to show the impact of the people that we're setting this up for and, and what it's about. So Absolutely. And, you know, anybody is welcome to contact us and come in for a tour and learn more about what we do. Absolutely. I will have... Um, their website up, a telephone number, and all their information in the, in the description as well. So we do appreciate it. You guys do have a Facebook as well, which we'll link in yeah. to everything and um, all the other social medias if you do have them. But uh, again, I do appreciate your time and thank you for yeah. letting us be here. It's great to meet you. Awesome. Thank you. Yep, thank you. What's going on, everybody? I just wanted to say thank you for watching this video. I know it's not our normal thing. I'm usually out here in my messy garage working on my, my old beat up bike, but. Uh, this is Ride With Purpose, and this is our purpose right now. So we want to talk about Grand Traverse Industries and what they do and their mission in this ride they have coming up August 24th, which is a Sunday, the last Sunday of the month, I do believe. But um, it's going to be a great time, man. This is their first motorcycle event, first ever poker run. They have uh, a lot of things already in the bag, like ready to go. So um, they came to us with a little bit of asking for some help on how to organize a ride and things like that. And uh, Brother Mook and I were like, absolutely, what can we do to help you? And, you know, honestly, we've done very, very little. Miss um, Cody and her team have taken the bull by the horns in this thing, like I said before, and have ran with it. They they don't even need us. So, but I'm gonna do whatever I can to spread the word about it. And that's, uh, I guess that's my job now. <laughs> so, um, again, I just wanna, I can't, I'm not a professional filmmaker, obviously. Um, I'm barely even a, an okay YouTuber, but what we, what I wanted to try to portray is, uh, you know, the, the feeling and the love inside that building. Um, I walked in there and the energy is through the roof. It's, it's unbelievable. And it's, uh, it's a good thing. The only thing I can equate it to is like, uh, you know, back in the day playing football, they, that game day energy, you know, getting out there and, in the hoorah, let's go. And you get that from the staff and the team members all the way through. I mean, everyone there was so polite, so welcoming. It was just super cool to uh, to be a part of that and and see and see how they how they go on their day to day. You know, um, being able to really sit down with a few of the team members and talk with them, get to know them a little bit, and get to know what what they like to do and their favorite part about going there every single day. Um, it was just I don't know, just just really neat to see. I can't really explain it. So again, you know, um, looking through the footage, I put this uh, video together. This is Tuesday night. I actually had time today to go through the editing. I'm on the struggle bus a little bit with that, some technical issues, but um, the majority of this video was shot on Friday. We were, went to the facility last Friday. And off camera, we had a few conversations with a few of the team members. And uh, one in particular really stood out to me and I've been thinking about it all week. And I wanted to kind of share um, so this particular team member, you know, we were talking about their favorite thing and about GTI and what they like most about it and, you know, the way that it makes it feel. And this person told me, like, it, it makes me feel normal. You know, it makes me feel like I'm not an outcast. And that was their words. And, you know, for somebody to feel like that, you know, it's something that we take for granted. You know, just feeling normal. You know, it's it's it it struck a chord with me of, you know, a whole different type of struggle that I don't have, you know, I'm, I struggle with feeling normal, but not in the way that they struggle. And, uh, it, it really kind of, really kind of got to me and made me think about this all week long so far. So, um, the best part of GTI for them was, you know, they come to work every day. They don't get treated any differently. They get to see some of their friends, but they get to do their job and they get to go home feeling accomplished. Like they did something. Um, you know, I talk about ride with purpose and this uh, person said this, like, I have a purpose and that was cool. You know, again, something that we take, we, we, we don't even think about, you know, we go to our job and we moan and groan about it and, um, you know, which we all do, right? But uh, being able not to feel like 
you know, they're different or an outcast. It just, it was, it was just hard to hear, you know, a little bit, but I also understand that, you know, being um, in the biker community, feeling, you know, I've always been on the outside of the inside, I like to say. And uh, so there's a lot of correlation between the two. And I'm, I'm really excited for these, uh, for the team members to see there's a whole nother group of people with the, with, than what they normally see. So GTI, they have a great um, backing you know, they, they have their hardcore people there that are there to volunteer and help them out along the way. And this being their first motorcycle event, I'm really pumped for these, uh, for everyone there, the team members, the staff, to see that there's a whole other group of people, you know, covered in tattoos and leather and, you know, big beards that, that care and uh, that want to be there for them and rally and, and have some fun and show them love and support. And like I said about the veteran community, um, this group of people, they, they get forgotten about, you know? So again, we're on another mission to let them know that they're loved, they're not forgotten about, there's people out there that really do care about them. So again, I'm gonna put a, their flyer up while I'm babbling here one more time. There's a QR code on there to go donate if you cannot make it to the ride on Sunday, August 24th. Um, if you can, please consider donating. Any amount is, is great, it helps out. Also gonna link in their Facebook page and um, if you're not able to donate, completely understand, send some words of encouragement to their Facebook page or even on this video. Um, I'm not making this video to get the views. I'm making it just to help out the one or two people that might be able, might see this and know somebody that could use a place like GTI. Um, maybe there's not a GTI in your area, but there's something out there, I guarantee it. And I'm sure GTI would be able to help you find some place in your area that does the same kind of thing that they do. So. Um, I do appreciate it. Um, I think we're closing in the 500 mark again, guys. So we got something special coming up for that. But as always, we'll see you next time and ride with purpose. See you.